Now, as festivities get closer, European countries are putting different strategies in place to try to avoid a rise in coronavirus infections over Christmas. Following record daily cases, Germany has decided to adopt a tougher stance, while Italy, which has Europe's highest death toll, is actually easing restrictions. Evelyn Laverick tells us more. The decorations are up, but Christmas won't be the usual one this year in Germany. The country's going into a hard lockdown over the next few weeks as the number of deaths and infections from the coronavirus reaches record levels. Germany is the only major country in Europe in which the number of people dying of or with COVID-19 has been steadily climbing since November. We will close retail stores from Wednesday, December 16th and keep them open only for food and similar urgent goods of daily use. Care will also be taken not to expand the sale of non-food products in food retail and there will be a ban on the sale of fireworks before New Year's Eve. In contrast, Italy is easing some of its restrictions, even though it's the European nation with the highest coronavirus death toll. As of Sunday, there are now no longer any red zones. In the yellow zones, bars and restaurants have reopened until 6 p.m. and locals have taken advantage of the changes. I couldn't wait. This morning when I woke up, I said, first I go back to my trusted bar and at last I'll have breakfast seated in the bar. Thus, I'm very happy. It's obvious. All of us have missed all of this. Christmas this year in Portugal will also be different. But contrary to what some had hoped, most Portuguese continue to rush to the shops ahead of the holidays. Confinement measures have been reduced in several areas of Lisbon, but the authorities are appealing to the public to avoid popular times to shop. And in Russia, there's good news for drinkers. There'll be no curfew or limit to alcohol sales imposed in Moscow during the New Year holiday, despite a rise in COVID infections in the Russian capital. Evelyn Laverick, Euronews. Well, let's head to Berlin to find out more about what Germany's trying to do to stem COVID-19 infections. Our correspondent Kate Brady is there. Kate, good morning to you. Look, there was this lockdown light in Germany. That's going to be replaced by this much stricter lockdown on Wednesday. Can you just tell us what the rules are and why it is that Germany have made this decision? Well, this was a decision that uh, German Chancellor Angela Merkel wanted to see made uh, weeks ago, even at the end of October, as this uh, lockdown light that, we, that Germany currently finds itself in was decided upon. So for the last six weeks, there has been quite a relaxed lockdown here in Germany and, uh, and Merkel wanted to see tougher restrictions, but it took until yesterday for the 16 state premiers here in Germany uh, to agree with her. And so from Wednesday, uh, the 16th of December until at least January 10th, there will be tighter restrictions here. So all non-essential shops will be closed. And one of the big changes we're seeing with these tighter restrictions as well is the closure of schools, something we've not seen uh, since before summer here in Germany. So um, a lot of adjustments for people to make in the coming days. Uh, and of course, a lot of questions being asked as well about how successful digital learning will be in the new year as well. But it is worth pointing out that people are still able to meet a maximum of five people people from two other households and over the uh, the Christmas weekend the 24th to the 26th of December that will actually be relaxed still a maximum of five people but from an unlimited amount of households so there is still uh, some relaxed measures uh, over the Christmas period. For retailers this is going to be particularly painful news hoping of course that Christmas would see a resurgence in sales. How has the news of this much stricter lockdown gone down? Are the public generally quite accepting of it? Yeah, among the public, it really has been quite well received. Even just before the state premiers and Merkel uh, decided on this tighter lockdown yesterday, uh, six in 10 Germans actually said that the restrictions currently in place didn't go far enough. And of course, every day uh, the country was waking up to uh, higher numbers of daily cases. We saw almost 30,000 new cases uh, in the last 24 hours at the end of last week and almost 600 uh, deaths in one day. So 
So the numbers really prove, as uh, was said yesterday in the press conference, the partial lockdown of November and early December simply did not work. So the hope now is that people will use their common sense as well. Of course, uh, policymakers, state, pre state premiers and Merkel can only go so far to encourage people to stay at home. And while people are still allowed to meet, uh, the advice is that they should uh, try and isolate uh, in those days before Christmas and just avoid contact with other people wherever possible. Kate, thank you very much. Our correspondent there in Berlin.